Hey guys, this is Jira. Uh, I'm just having a quick update video to let you know how things are going um, since I hadn't uploaded another video in about a couple of weeks. Um, basically, I just, as most of you know, anytime I have a spance where I don't upload something, it's usually because I hit kind of a mental um, health rut, we'll say. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I'm alright. Um, at least, you know, you know how it is. Um, I'm here. <laughs> That's what matters. Um, I have a lot of friends that are very helpful with everything that I deal with and are very willing to listen, and I thank all of you and love all of you. Um, but yeah, I had kind of a rough week happen in a lot of ways, and... You know, that's it, it's inevitable a lot of times. It, you're going to have a really good span of time where you're fine and you're bubbly and happy and then you hit something and that's just the way mental health goes is you're never just instantly better. And I have, I have, I know I have friends that are also struggling with their own mental health things and, you know, with the anxiety and depression and et cetera. And so everyone's very familiar with how you have highs and lows. And so I just hit one of my lows and I and technically still kind of just have needed some space from people and things just to, you know, kind of ride that out the rest of the way because, you know, it makes you really exhausted. Even if you feel physically fine, in all other senses, which I don't normally feel physically fine in all other senses, uh, anything dealing with your mind can, of that severity will mess with you a lot. And so, um, obviously if you are also struggling with something, try to find help, try to, um, talk to friends, talk to people you trust, uh, Consider a therapist if you can. Sometimes therapists are helpful, and sometimes they miss the mark. And that's nothing against people. That's just sometimes, you know, everybody understands their level of reality. And, you know, sometimes yours doesn't match up with people, and that's okay. Just find someone you trust and that you feel better after talking to them and, you know, Get a support network. Um, try to have more than one friend, just so in case um, one of the, the one friend is busy and that's okay. That's how people are. Um, you aren't left feeling like you have no one be just because that person had to like you know go to work or whatever. Try to have more than one friend if you can, and you know talk to both of them. Or or however many it is that you trust. And just know that there's a lot of people out here that are going through similar stuff and we all care in a general humanity sense. I did not realize that this was gonna become kind of a support message update, but hey, there we are. Um, let's see. I also, related to me, uh, you know how my health goes all over the place. Uh, I did end up getting, like, a stupid cold thing around the same time period as all this mess. And, yeah, a lot of my anxiety and depression comes from my body, as I've mentioned several times. Um, I have severe polycystic ovarian syndrome that even doctors are baffled with. I have an immune system that has always been kind of shot uh, colds turn into bronchitis really easily for me. And so uh, I just do what I can to keep, you know, muscling through it and all that stuff. So yeah, I got a cold recently and it kind of like messed with my voice, but luckily it didn't turn into bronchitis. Um, although I'm still on the prednisone that they gave me. And so I, I kind of have to see how the prednisone plays out. My hand's getting shaky. I'm sorry. There. Okay. I think that'll work. I was holding the phone kind of stupid. Um, but yeah, 
I just, you kind of have to wait for the prednisone to finish and then see with what your lungs and everything does because, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't record anything lately just because I, I just, yeah. It's, and I'm sure you guys don't, you guys understand. But I was just mostly wanting to let you know that this wasn't going to be like several months of me like not uploading anything because I know I've done that in the past but um quite frankly I have a good motivator um that I didn't used to have and I'm very thankful for that motivator and so yeah that it's it might be one thing specifically, but hey, whatever it is that works for you to get you to the next thing that you want to do, your next goals, et cetera, so forth, do it. Latch on to it. Um, don't be, you know, don't be weird with it, but, you know, anything that you're having trouble um, getting yourself in the right mindset to do because of anxiety or depression... Um, and just life in general, if you are struggling to find any kind of motivation whatsoever to just keep going, if you can find that one good thing, that one good thing that just kind of shines more than anything else, uh, even if it's small, um, just focus on it a little bit. Um, sometimes it can be really simple. Sometimes it can be really big. It, it's whatever works. Um. If it's a friend or some or or some kind of goal or whatever, you know, just keep it in mind. Don't don't obsess over it and become kind of weird about it. But you know, keep it as a thing to think about whenever you get low, because it's really helpful. And yeah, I I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling as I do. Um, I, obviously, I don't plan the, what I'm going to say in these updates. I just kind of bullet point it in my head and then talk. But, yeah, um, I am going to record again very soon. I just was kind of writing out the rest of this sick and the rest of needing to just kind of be distant from a few things and people. Uh, unfortunately, there's some things that I can't get distant from. And they can often be the things that are most prevalent at causing me issues. But th there's been a lot of progress in that department, I think. It, I'm hesitant to say yes, because you know how that can go, where you think, oh, the a source of a big issue for yourself, oh, it's got some improvement, and then it kind of goes back to normal. So, but I think it's been better based on some certain events. Um, still have random life events just kind of like spin the wheel of fortune of, hey, what thing can mess up today? But I think everybody kind of goes through that at least for a little while. Um, so yeah. Uh, when I record next, obviously it's going to be more Resident Evil 7. Um, I did mess with Stardew Valley as I had... Um, done, I did a silly little, uh, Twitter poll, which, by the way, follow me on Twitter, uh, because I tweet more frequently than I thought I would, and I do like feedback, and Twitter's a good way to get feedback. My Twitter is at artistjira, um, and so, yeah, it's just those two words put together. Um, follow me, uh, I'll... I'll like be like, hey guys, what do you want to see? Uh, oh, that's my pizza. <laughs> uh, one second. Ugh. But yeah, so follow me on Twitter. Um, I will like. Okay, that's that. I'll um often be like, hey, I have this idea. What do you want? And what do you want to do? And I like feedback from you guys, uh, the few that you are. Um, I appreciate all of you. And let's see. Uh, Stardew Valley. 
I did mess with it a bit. Uh, I got to do the thumbnail and I was in the middle of drawing that and then I got kind of mad at it. <laughs> so I got to go back to that and uh, finish that up before I can post any Stardew Valley stuff. But I am going to do that because the few people that responded wanted the overall interest was Stardew Valley and then the secondary interest was Bioshock. And I will do Bioshock as well. But I decided I would, obviously since there was a smidgen more Stardew Valley interest, uh, and it was, you know, it was people that, there were a lot, there were people that wanted both. I figured I'd do that at Stardew Valley first, since I'm in the middle of a shooter in, game of some nature. I didn't want to accidentally get the controls between, um, Resident Evil 7 and Bioshock kind of flip-flop because that would be bad. Um, so... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, it kind of, I, I haven't really talked about it, but lately, but uh, drawing videos, because I always wanted to do more uh, speed art stuff. Unfortunately, I had a really annoying thing happen with my tablet, and it's because of nothing on my part, really. It's just, you know, I studied computer science, and so. I get a little extra angry whenever things like this happen that I don't think should because it's bad design. Um, my tablet updated to Android Nougat. It was running Marshmallow originally and I thought I was going to get like a patch to Marshmallow and then the thing decided, oh, I want to update to Nougat, but didn't tell me. And so it updated to Nougat and... Now half of my apps don't work because the apps haven't gotten a Nougat update from the individual app developers. And I did factory reset and they replaced the Marshmallow kernel with Nougat kernel, which that's, you know, the when you first start up the tablet or a computer or anything, that's what boots. So there is no Marshmallow on my tablet anymore. And I'm just like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you make it to where the factory default was no longer the default. I just don't get it. I, I understand that it takes up more storage space inside, but I want the original factory default in case something goes stupid, you know? But hey, yeah, I've, I've been dealing with that. And so that's why I haven't recorded it. I haven't really done any speed art e anymore because I was going to. Uh, I finally had some ideas and then that happened and the app that I used to record speed art no longer works. And the alternative app that I have, I hate it, honestly. It, I, it kind of works, but it, I, it requires more editing, and I don't like it. So, I'm waiting on that. Uh, if you want to see, if I draw anything that isn't thumbnail stuff, um, I still have my deviant art. Um, I'll like. Just follow my Twitter and I'll post a link to it if I post anything there. Because um, I have a lot of my stuff linked in my uh, uh, YouTube about stuff. But, you know, just follow my Twitter. My Twitter is the best place to know anything about me. Um, other than here and my random rants and vlog stuff and games <laughs> but yeah uh that, that's all that's going on i don't really know of anything else to say and i'm gonna get my pizza out so uh thank you for watching this uh know that i'm fine uh i'm still here and i will be recording again soon and um, probably sometime this week um i'm currently seeing how a certain thing related to pcos is going to play out this week it's a kind of an important uh, test week for me, we'll say, without going into the details of the grossness. And so that might make me feel bad, and it might not. So far, I'm all right today. It's day two on waiting to see what it's going on. And so I'm feeling good on day two, but we'll see how day three goes, etc. But yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll do my best to record very, very soon, because I love you guys, and I like doing this, so... Bye.